Porter, it's good to see you. Um, I wanted to ask you, Tulsa has often been a home court advantage for Oklahoma, but tickets for this event are being sold 50-50. What do you anticipate this experience and being like for your basketball team? You know, I think it's going to be a, a passionate game. I, I, I know um, our fan base, Arkansas's fan base, uh, it's two passionate fan bases. Um, you know, so that's what I anticipate. I anticipate uh, being a high energy atmosphere. I know Arkansas is a, a really good team. Um, the, the way they play, they, they play so hard. They get the tempo going, they press you, they run and jump you, they drive you. Um, and I think both fan bases are, are very passionate. You know, Arkansas and Oklahoma have only played 10 times in basketball, which really seems strange due to proximity. Uh, this series will likely take it into SC, you guys into SEC play. What's it like to have that quality opponent like Arkansas every year? You know, I, it's it's only can help us, man. They're gonna be they're they're really good, and um, to play these kind of kind of teams, uh, this kind of venue, it's what you want. And um, you know, we've already played Florida an SEC team, and I know we got Auburn coming up. But though that our whole thought is Arkansas right now, and just got a ton of respect for them, and knowing, knowing they're a very very good team. One last question, a quick one. Wanted to ask you, how many takes did it take to make the half court shot for the the Twitter video you made? Can't remember. <laughs> no, more. It, it was, it was, it wasn't more than ten. I think it was somewhere between five and seven. Sounds good. All right, Porter. Thanks a bunch. Good luck this weekend. Yep. I really wanted to lie. I really did. <laughs> um, Sister Jean would have found out. Josh Calloway with the next question. Yeah, Porter, you know, after the Utah State game, you talked a lot about, you know, <clears throat> making sure that loss didn't go in vain and, and learning from it. And it seemed like the guys generally, you know, responded from it, got some big wins after that. Are you getting a similar vibe, you know, this week? The guys are responding well to that Butler loss and kind of turn the page. Unfortunately, I had to take a day off yesterday. It pained me. I wanted to practice for like nine hours and I wanted to watch film for another 11. Um, but per NCAA rules, that was our day off. So we actually watched film this morning and we had everything was about this morning about that, our teaching moments. We had a, just a, an enormous amount of teaching moments from that game, from shot selection to, um, so, to zone offense of not only the offense, but zone principles, you know, knowing how to pass fake, knowing how to gap dribble, how to pinch in a zone. We got so spread out, we're just playing catch, which becomes, and that starts with me. But we got it. We were teaching zone principles. And the ironic thing is, even though they had only eight possessions of zone, we we went up against zone every single day with that thought that they might go zone. And then they did. Um, so that was frustrating. But we had so many teaching moments and challenged them again and and showed how this loss can't go in vain. We got to you know, we can't be that team that takes plays off. You know, we got up we got up 13 and the next six defensive possessions in a row were just kind of. Not relentless. Not, I mean, they were okay, but they weren't to our standard, and, and they scored on five of them. And instead of trying to nail a hammer in it when you're up 13, we had some bad shot selection and some bad deep. Next thing you know, it's a three-point game, and that's the teaching moment. And uh, same thing happened to the Utah State game. So, yes, we went over it a ton. Uh, now the rest of yes, uh, this morning, uh, this afternoon, tonight, is all about Arkansas. Appreciate it, Porter. Yep. Jesse Critton with the next question. Hey, Porter. Appreciate your time. Um, obviously, you guys had a pretty tough test last week in Florida, another tough test this week. And just how, how, how has your team kind of responded to, you know, these non-conference challenges so far? And, and I, you've spoke a little bit about it, but, you know, what do you see from Arkansas and how they may challenge you guys? Well, starting first, what I see from Arkansas is I see a really good team. I see a lot of different pieces. They got length. They got athleticism, they got shooters, um, they got quick point guards, they got length inside with Vanover and Williams. Um, I just see a, a lot of weapons. Um, they come at you, um, they, they, they're gonna press you, they're gonna run and jump you, they're gonna uh, go for turnovers nonstop. They, they turn turnovers into baskets as good as anybody. Um, so that's what I see from Arkansas. You gotta take care of the ball and then you gotta rebound. They're relentless on the glass. So you, you've got to take care of the ball and you've got to rebound. Those are just two fundamental basics that you, that going into that game. Um, and you got to execute. You know, for us, we got to control the tempo, execute. Um, 
with that. How are guys handle it? I mean, man, they're a player at this level. You, you want to play in these games. You want to play in these games. You're playing a, a top 10 team um, in, 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 a, in Tulsa. Um, great programs. Um, you got to check your pulse if you don't want to play in this game. And just a quick follow up. You've you've started the same five guys um, in every game so far this season. Just what have you seen from that starting lineup, and and how do you kind of hope they continue to grow? We th th that's what I want to see. Is I want to see them to continue to grow. I I, I really want to see our you know six through ten continue to grow. Um, you know, I think the last game was the first game that our, our second our first five hasn't gotten us off to a good start in the second half. But I do love what they did. They came in, Butler scored two quick ones, and then we came back and we answered. So, um, you know, it's just about getting better. And uh, but we got to develop our bench. I mean, it's just it's as simple as that. I thought Bijan came in and did a couple of nice passes. Um, he's got his defense and different things, but his passing was good. Um, you know, Ethan, we're looking for consistency from him. Uh, Jacob came in and gave us two nice baskets off the bench. So I, I liked what I saw out of Jacob. Um, so we, and, and CJ Nolan, um, I told all we're, we're playing two to three freshmen. And it's, it's that old adage, it's a race to maturity. It's a race to maturity, man. When you're, when you're playing freshmen in this day and age, when you're playing COVID seniors and super seniors, all this stuff, you're playing 23-year-olds, you young guys, it's hard. It's hard to be a young, true freshman. It's got to be a race to maturity on all the little things you got to do to play at a game like this, at a level like this. Appreciate it, Porter. You got it. Andrew Hutchinson. Hey, Porter, I was just curious what your impressions are after watching film of Jalen Williams, Arkansas's, uh, no, I think he's number 10 for Arkansas. No, I, I know. <laughs> I've been watching for 48 hours since the, after the Butler game. Elite passer, really good passer. Um, he's got a good pace to his game. Um, he doesn't get sped up. Some bigs, we you remember Majerus used to call some bigs panicked passers, you know, you know, Jalen Williams is not a panic passer. Jalen Williams takes his time. He finds cutters. He's a very good passer. Um, and, uh, you know, he's skilled. He's big. He gets his athleticism in the game. I really like him. I, I, you know, just I watched him a little bit last year, um, but I could just only imagine how much he's grown. But I, I really think those he's a terrific passer and good pace to himself. And I wanted to get a thought from you on, on, on Tanner Groves and, and how important he's been to y'all and, and what what does he really uh, bring to the table for y'all? You know, he, he brings some size to us, uh, to, but he has some versatility. Um, you know, he's passing the ball decent and he's, he's shooting it. Um, I think we can really get him, you know, some more post touches. I'd like to see him get some more post touches in there and have him be more productive um, within the post as well. Um, you, you, you gotta love coaching him. He's passionate every day. He wants to learn. He watches all extra tape. He does all those things you love to coach. Um, and, uh, but I, I see, I see a young man wanting to get better every day. Any additional questions for coach? All right. Thank you everyone. Have a good night. See you. Thank you, Porter. Yep.